the language of the Torah is very precise and there is a fascinating comparison between three expressions that the Torah uses, one regarding Noah, one regarding Abraham, Abraham and one regarding the Jewish people later on. And those expressions are very similar but each one has a very different emphasis. Regarding Noah, Noah, it says, Et ha'elokim hit halech Noah. Noah walked with God. Avraham is told to walk before God. His halech lefanai v'heye sonim. God says to Avraham, walk in front of me. And we are told that Avraham walked in front of God. And the Jewish people, later on in the book of Deuteronomy, Dvarim, are commanded, Achare Hashem alokechem talechu, follow, walk behind the Lord your God. So you're supposed to walk with God, as Noah did, walk ahead of God, as Abraham did, and walk behind God, as we are all supposed to do. And Rav Kook explains that each one represents a different aspect of our obligation. Noah lived in a completely corrupt society, terribly corrupt, that was, of course, as in the end, condemned to destruction. In a society like that, a person has to walk with God, meaning he has to cling with all his strength to righteousness, to God, to the Torah, to morality, etc. He cannot deviate even for a moment because otherwise he'll be lost in the flood of perversion and of evil. And Noah desperately clung to God like a life raft, even before he was in the ark. And that's called God, Noah walked with God. Rav Cook says, however, sometimes a person needs to be a spiritual pioneer. Abraham paved the way for God in the world, paved the way for monotheism, for ethical monotheism, for a covenant with God in the world. And he therefore, in a sense, walked ahead of God, meaning he was the force recon of, of monotheism. He walked ahead of God. And a person sometimes, Rav Cook says, has to be a pioneer. A person has to sometimes go, in the immortal words of Star Trek, where no one has ever gone before. And he has to, and she, has to really be someone who is prepared to face a challenge, to confront a challenge, and sometimes also to push the envelope of their spiritual growth and an adventure in order to move forward. And then there is the idea that is universal, which is everyone has to also humbly follow God and his commands. And the Jewish people are commanded as a whole to walk behind God, meaning to follow his commands and to, with humility and with devotion, to be obedient to them. But also sometimes to be spiritual pioneers as Abraham, and sometimes in times of complete corruption to cling for all life to the Torah and to cling with all of our strength to the ethics and the morality of the Torah. Those are the three expressions. Noah walked with God. Avraham walked ahead of God. We walk behind God. And indeed, Rav Cook says, we're obligated to do all three at different times in our life and at different times in history. This is Mordechai Becha with the Gateways Parsha Vlog.